Hi everybody, Quint Lears, newhomesales.com. We have got one of the most interesting guests with us today. It's Anella Flores. Anella, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Anella is a rising star in the real estate industry. Uh, you are a new home sales buyer representative, licensed real estate broker. But besides that, she's a fitness expert, a yoga instructor, contributor to various magazines. You are a radio host. I know you've done some amazing things, but but how does it feel now to be on newhomesales.com? It feels amazing. This is a fantastic platform. I'm a big fan. Yeah. yeah. Thanks so much. But you've, she's got a fascinating story. Anella has what we call grit. Um, I, I want to back up a little bit. So when you grew up, you had a very fascinating situation. Um, tell me about that. So when I grew up, I grew up in rural northern New Mexico, uh, a place called Cordova. I can literally tell my daughter that I walked to school uphill both ways in the snow and it'd be a true story Uh, we didn't have running water we didn't have electricity it was a one-room home Uh, we lived off of the garden you know any meat that we had was deer or elk my parents were super hippies and you know we grew up in that way and it just instilled such an amazing work ethic for one and I think that grit is really something that I attribute to those times now how long have you been in real estate I've been in real estate a little over two years. Well, two years, seriously. Back when I was in college, I wanted to buy a home. And so I got licensed in real estate because I wanted to buy a home and I didn't know how to do any of it. My parents weren't in a position to to help me through that. So again, I think that's where that grit came in. I said, this is what I want to do. I focused all my effort and energy, went through real estate school, got my license, bought a home. I don't know how that happened, but it happened. <laughs> well, and what I like, you know, you're you're giving back to the community through, again, writing articles in the news, in the, in the various magazines, and your yoga instructor. You're not just a one facet person. You're not just, hey, I sell lots of houses. How has that helped or detracted or benefited you uh, going into the real estate industry as an entrepreneur? Sure. Health is one of those things that I am a very big believer that if you don't take care of yourself, you can't take care of other people. And in the real estate field, you are truly taking care of so many people at one time. It's a very, very demanding career. So I am just amazed, you know, when I see people really putting their health by the wayside. And I think it's just, you know, it's we're in an industry that never stops, never sleeps, doesn't know Christmas, doesn't know a holiday, doesn't know an evening. And to find that balance is something that's challenging. Luckily, I had such a strong upbringing with health as a focus that it's helped me but I've never been more challenged in my entire life so I've found different tools and techniques to help me stay more balanced because it it does take some thought so come over just a little bit we're gonna talk about work-life balance so real estate is very hard what I've even myself it's like when the phone's not ringing I have to work really hard because I'm slow and when it's busy, well, then I have to work hard because it's harvest time. So how do you decide what to do and what not to do? And how do you take on your challenges? You know, I just take them on. I, I feel like sometimes you can overthink the planning part of it and you just get caught up in that. And in this industry, you don't have time to waste. You just got to get to get in <laughs> and you can't put too much thought in it because that's time as well. So I try to just go kind of full steam ahead, get clear in terms of what my focus and intention is for the day and execute it in that way. I want to, you, if you're watching today, to be encouraged by Anella. She's been in the industry about two years, but she's very successful. A lot of people, you know, oh, well, if you've been in the real estate business for 10 years or 20 years, of course, you're successful. You don't have to wait forever to be successful. What are some things, some things that you do that make you different that have allowed you to succeed? One of the key things that I do, and it's not just lip service, is I truly care about my clients. My kind of golden rule is I will treat my clients the way I want it to be treated. At this point in my life, I've bought and sold two homes. I'm, I've been the client before, so I really think about you know what kind of communication they need, what kind of support they need, and I truly treat them the way I would want to be treated, how I'd want to treat my most loved one. You know, I really try and focus on what they most need. I was, I was eating Cheetos and a soda, and she's like, what are you doing? She grabbed it and threw it away. So give me some tips, I mean, some health tips, because like we're always on the go. I, I'm a new person. Let's just say I don't know anything about health. Tell me some tips. You know, I think any little bit, 
counts. I think a lot of times people feel like they have to go to the gym for an hour or do only paleo, do only keto, you know, that it has to be this all or nothing. And I really am a big believer is take one or two things that you can really implement for the long haul and start with that. Like one of the things, no matter what, I have a huge about 40 ounce drink first thing in the morning, green drink. Um, it's a powdered greens. I shake it up. It doesn't take but two minutes, but it's enough to, for one, alka alkalize my body. Whew. And, you know, just really get me that true nutrients early in the morning. It's a simple habit. It's simple to do and it's simple not to do. But, you know, I don't feel like you, people need to do these big overhauls all in one time. They just need to figure out like one or two things. Another thing that I'm a big fan of doing is the night before as I'm packing my daughter's lunch, I pack my own lunch. We're on the go all the time. I put a little cooler together, some fruit, some nuts, some things that I can grab in between meetings and that's what I eat. Because when I first started in the business, what was happening is I literally was going all day without eating and then you know come four o'clock I was starving and things like a hot dog sounded good for the first time in my life so I think it's just a little bit of forethought in terms of what your day will bring and planning accordingly another thing uh, so if you're watching I want you to be encouraged that you don't have to wait forever to be successful in this business you can get in and start being successful right away the other thing is you don't have to wait forever to start contributing and giving back and you do a lot of giving back even you have a platform Q&A Tuesday Tuesday. Yes, I sure do. Q&A Tuesday is just simple questions and answers, questions that buyers or sellers typically have. I try and make it a short one to two minute segment. There's a lot, you know, I know a lot of the consumers out there aren't incredibly versed about real estate and it all feels big and overwhelming. I try and just chunk it down and give some useful information. Can I get on your program? Of course you can. Yeah. Uh, so how do we connect with Q&A Tuesday? Q&A Tuesday that is in Living in Las Cruces on Facebook. I also have livinginlascruces.net online. Those are both platforms that you can plug into. Okay, let's talk about, uh, you talked about nutrition. What about health? You said yoga. Yoga is pretty easy, just stretches. Okay, I love yoga. And talk about just connecting with your community, having a good pulse for what is happening in your community, who's in your community. I go to this fitness class the other day here in Las Cruces. The fitness facility is called Fitness One. And I am just so inspired. There's 80-year-old women just... For one, you see that they've made fitness a lifestyle, but not that I was intentionally networking, but I met, you know, five to 10 people there. We have a common interest. You have a common connection. It's fantastic. I mean, I think that just when you incorporate it into your day-to-day -day routine, it serves you more than just the physical body, but that sense of community. So we got grit. We have a sense of urgency. We're giving back. We're connecting with the community. Tell me some things that have helped you or let me say some, maybe some trainings that have been beneficial because a lot of people think, well, I'm going to you know, maybe advertise a bunch, but you don't advertise a lot, right? You you do things a little bit different. I, I like to say she doesn't outspend the competition. I think you're outsmarting. But tell me some of the trainings that have been uh, beneficial. When I first got started in real estate, I took up the Brian Buffini Peak Producers uh, program, and that is really building a business by referral. To me, that just resonated with what my belief system, my philosophy was for the business, and I've implemented it. I spend my time, my money on my client, and therefore they refer me to their friends and family like hotcakes. It's amazing. It's fantastic. And not only am I having clients that are referred to me by name, but they also usually align with with who I am as a person. And so right off the bat, there's that really good uh, connection. It's been fantastic. A business by your referral has been one of the most beautiful things that I'm, I'm so happy that I decided to implement that as my business model early on. And by the way, earlier I made a joke about yoga being easy. I was joking around because it's like incredibly difficult. Surprisingly, I tried it and it was very, very hard. Any last tips of encouragement? Let's say for the frontline salesperson that's watching, they feel discouraged. Tell me, just some things that have helped you in your low spots because it's not all highs hmm that's a fantastic question in your low spots as it relates to specifically your real estate business you know you just tomorrow's a new day today is what it is and you learn always you know try and take whatever bits and pieces from that challenge and say how can I do better next time but Life is a long time. We're bound to be, make mistakes. It's bound to happen in this business. It's bound to happen in general. And so it's not so much, I, I actually don't even really see failing. And this is again, kind of how I train my mind is 
I believe that there's just learning and growing. So, you know, what most would perceive as a failure, I see as a really cool growth opportunity. I'm inspired by Anella. Anella, you're giving back, you're contributing, you're making an impact. You are um, helping customers. You're creating an ama amazing referral business. I agree with Brian Buffini. By the way, Brian, if you're watching, we got to get you on newhomesales.com. Um, guys, please subscribe. If you have um, an interesting story, please contact us. We'd love to feature you. Anella, keep making an impact. Thank you, Quint. Have a great day.